All right, you guys. So today we're going to get a look at three of the action figures from the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi line of figures in the six inch Black Series line, guys. Uh, so we have our Tala Daruth, our Obi-Wan Kenobi Jabin character. And then, of course, we have our Inquisitor fourth sister. So really cool, we're going to get a look at the boxes as we always do. So starting with our boxes, we have our Black Series logo across the top. We have the illustration of our figures on the front. We have our Obi-Wan Kenobi banner across each one of our boxes, our Hasbro warning label, foreign up, and plastic free packaging labels on the front. Let's get you a look at the side of the boxes. So getting you a look at the side panels for each one of our boxes for your Obi-Wan Kenobi, we have him with Darth Vader uh, fighting on Jabin uh versus Darth Vader so that is really really cool very very nice and then of course we also have our Inquisitor fourth sister I forget the name of the city uh that was depicted in the Obi-Wan series but I believe that's that one uh very like gritty looking uh city with the neon lights uh, I forget the name of that city from the series but uh obviously that uh, I believe that is what is depicted in her background we of course we have Tala uh, who was a part of the path, uh, basically, which was an escape route for Jedi and Jedi sympathizers. Uh, and she was a part of uh, moving these people along, transporting them to safe havens uh, where they could be uh, safe from the Empire. Uh, and she was obviously disguised as an Imperial officer. Uh, so we have her background. And uh, again, I, I'm terrible. I only saw the Obi-Wan series once, and I forget the name of the planet uh, that she was basically based on, but um, obviously that is a depiction uh, of that particular planet. So uh, really nice background for each one of your characters. And then of course you have the character's name underneath the depiction and the illustration there. So very nice stuff for your side panels of the boxes. And then getting you a look at the back of each one of our boxes. Again, you have your Black Series logo, an illustration of each one of your figures. You have a small blurb for each one of your figures. You have Obi-Wan Kenobi as 11 in your Black Series, Obi-Wan Kenobi series line. Oh. Sister as number 12 in the line. And then of course you have Tala Daruth as number 13 in your Obi-Wan Kenobi series line for the Black Series line of figures. So really, really cool stuff. We're going to skip the blurb on each one of our uh, characters here to save some time uh, on this review. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get each one of our boxes open, get our characters pulled out and get a look at all of the detail, accessories and articulation. And then, of course, we will get a very cool diorama with all of our figures so please do stay tuned all right you guys so we have our figures out of the package and first impressions out of the package i think the figures look very very nice i'm a little concerned about obi-wan um i'm looking at his face scope right now and it just doesn't look i don't know let me uh get a close because i just pulled it out the package guys you're seeing it for the first time as i'm seeing it maybe you already have this figure and you've examined it uh, a lot more than i have uh but uh, again, I've just pulled it out of the box and I haven't really just fully on full on just examined the face sculpt, but it just looks a little weird to me. But we'll get a closer look at it in just a moment. Uh, but looking at Tala, Tala looks absolutely amazing. I think she is absolutely awesome. I've been waiting on this figure for a very, very long time. I ordered it as soon as it was uh, pre-ordered. You, you can't have enough of Imperial officers, especially female officers or uh, officers of different races. So uh, it's really cool uh, to get uh, just a variety of officers. You you, you want to have that variety of officers, especially if you're in the army building like I am. Uh, so obviously, uh, again, it's very cool to have uh, Tala uh, to add to your uh, Imperial officer lineup. And then, of course, you have a fourth sister who looks absolutely amazing. I think she looks very, very awesome. She Obviously, she is an alien species. Um, not quite sure what uh, species she is. I have to uh, examine her. We didn't really get a really good look at her, or at least I don't recall getting a good look at her uh, during the Obi-Wan series. Again, I've only watched the series one time, unfortunately. It just, um, not to say that it was bad, uh, it just wasn't what I 
was expecting it to be or hoping that it would be. Um, and not saying that I won't go back and rewatch it. I just have not done so uh, to this point. Um, so a, a lot of my memory of what I saw is only from first viewing uh, accounts, uh, not repeat viewings and really examining everything that's gone on uh, in that particular series. So uh, again, my recollection of the fourth sister is not really too good uh, because she didn't really say a lot uh, and she really didn't do a lot. Uh, in the series, unfortunately. And I don't know, I, you know, I, don't, I haven't read all of the comics, but I don't even remember any stories uh, involving her uh, in depth uh, in the comics as well. But not to say that there aren't any out there. Again, I don't, um, I'm not a devoted comic reader. Uh, so I, I, there may be a story uh, specifically on her that I may have missed. But uh, again, from what I recall from the series, I think she looks absolutely awesome. And of course, she definitely fits the Inquisitor motif uh, with the black and red and uh, the sequence uh, outfit that she has, which is really, really nice. So guys, let's go ahead and get you a closer look at each one of these figures. We're gonna start with Tala. Uh, I think she looks absolutely amazing. So let's get you guys a closer look at Tala. All right, you guys, so getting you a closer look at Tala and she looks absolutely amazing. I think she looks awesome. I mean, again, she's just a uh, rebel disguised as an Imperial officer. Uh, but you can definitely add her to your Imperial officer lineup as an army build. Uh, so she is really, really nice looking. And I think she's a, a must have uh, if you're an army builder or if you just want to fill out your, again, your officer core for your Imperials. Uh, she just fits very nicely within and she will give you a good variety, a good look. Uh, to have a female officer along some of the male officers that we've received in line. So really, really nice stuff. She has a holster there on the side. Of course, she has her uh, Imperial pins there. Uh, typical look for your officer's uniform. Uh, the hat is not removable. Uh, she does come with the pistol. We've seen that pistol several times in the line. But uh, she does come with the weapon. That is her lone accessory. Very, very nice stuff. Of course, with your articulation, she's going to give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend that goes back about that far. She is going to give you 360 all the way around. So that's really nice. She will also give you a very nice T-pose as well. You have a twist at the elbow, a twist at the wrist as well. The right hand will give you an up and down hinge. Left hand is a back and forth hinge. She does give you a very nice wide stance as well. She kicks out about that far. Knee high, about that high. She kicks back about that far. We have a twist at the thigh, a twist at the knee as well. The ankle, she goes down about that far. She doesn't go up too far, and actually none at all because of the lip uh, just at the base of the ankle. But she does provide you with a very nice rocker. In the torso, she's gonna go down about that far, back, about that far and there is a decent range mine's a little stiff but there is a range there and then your left to right and then in the head area she's going to go down about that far she looks up about that far and then you have your left to right and then head nod twist as well so your typical articulation for your officer uh, however, this is a female officer. I believe it's the first female officer that we've received in the line. So uh, really, really good. Very nice articulation for your Tala Imperial officer figure. Very nice. And then, of course, can you look at her weapon? Uh, it is a pistol that we've received several times in the line. No additional paint apps, but there is some texture and detail to it. Uh, just a basic machine gray. Very, very nice looking pistol. All right, you guys, so let's get you a look at our Inquisitor, the fourth sister. Let's get you a closer look at the Inquisitor, fourth sister. All right, you guys, so getting you a look at your Inquisitor, fourth sister. Uh, again, I think she looks great. Um, she didn't do a lot in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, but obviously she was there standing in the background. Um, so we do have some reference to some of the detail that she has there. Uh, with the uh, tentacles coming out of her helmet, which is really nice. And then, of course, she has the Imperial Signia on her shoulder. I believe it's on both shoulders. 
She has the skirt, leathery looking skirt with the red lining. Again, the Imperial Signia on the other side. Chest plate decked in all black with small splashes of silver in certain areas along her outfit. So really cool. You have a nice split in the skirt in the back again with the red trimming. And then uh, the two holes, the two peg holes there that you see in her back are uh, peg holes that where you can store her saber hilt. And we'll get a look at that a little bit later. Again, a look at her double bladed spinning sp saber. And a close up on her face sculpt. Uh, again, I don't know the alien species, but um, she looks absolutely cool. Very, very nice. Of course, for your articulation, she's going to give you a straight arm like so. Elbow bend that goes back about that far. It is going to give you the 360 in the elbow, uh, in the shoulder as well. And then, of course, she also possesses an excellent T-pose. You have a twist at the elbow, a twist in the wrist. For your right wrist, it is an up and down hinge for your right wrist. For the left wrist, it is the same thing, an up and down hinge for your left wrist. Her widest stance is going to be about that far. She's gonna kick out about that far. Knee high that goes about that high. Back about that far. A twist in the thighs, at the knee, ankle. She goes down about that she far. Goes up about that far. And of course, she does have the rocker as well. Or so she goes down about that far. Back about that far. She has a really decent range in the torso as well. Your left to right. In the head area, she goes down about that far. Not too far. The tentacles seem to hamper that a little bit. She looks up about that far and then a left to right and a little little bit of head nod. So a very cool look at your fourth sister inquisitor articulation. I think she is really cool. It's nice to get a variety of inquisitors. I'm sure we'll get another one from the Ahsoka series as we saw in the trailer. I will pull all of the inquisitors that I have available in my collection out as a comparison to this one a little bit later in the review, but really, really nice stuff. Giving you a look at the spinning blade, uh, typical for what we've seen in the line. Um, just basically the same. You have the two pegs there that go in the back of the figure for storage of your hilt. And then of course you have the two red blades, which are obviously removable when you store the hilt in the back. And then getting you a look at the hilt in place in the peg holes, stays in there really nice, hangs on there. So if you wanna pose her in that state, you could do so, really, really nice. All right, you guys, so right out of the box um, with this Obi-Wan Kenobi figure, still looking at the face scope a little sideways, but I don't know, it's one of those things that I got to get used to, I guess. And my eyesight is not as good as it used to be. So it, it, it takes my eyes a little time to kind of warm up to things. But the more I look at it, the more I do like it. Um, I was a little concerned that the beard was a little dark, but I'm looking at it on camera and it just, it seems to fit a little bit better on camera than it does in live because it li it's like the beard is almost one color. When I look at it, directly and the hair is another color so it's almost as if like he's coloring his beard or something uh to cover the gray uh but on camera it looks a lot better it, it it looks a lot better on camera but i guess it's the the lighting looking at it dead on um i don't know if it's my favorite face sculpt to be honest with you um but it's okay i i think it's decent you know it, it'll work um i took the liberty of of uh, kind of running an iron over the uh, robe a little bit because the hood just kept popping up. So I wanted to kind of get it to lay down a little bit. So that's why if yours is popping up and you're like, how's his laying down? I, I, I kind of ran an iron over it a little bit. But really, really cool figure. Very, very nice. Then of course, with the robe off, you have the belt, utility belt, the weapon and its holster. We'll get a look at the weapon as well, the full-on tunic. It's 
to get you guys a better look at the figure without the robe. Really nice. And then, of course, you have the same similar dressing to uh, one of the other Obi-Wans that we received in this uh, series. For your weapon, for your character, get a cool weapon. Looks nice. I actually think there's a couple of different paint apps here. Uh, more of a brownish gold for the majority of the weapon. And then the handle is a silver. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but looks like you get a pretty nice paint scope, uh, uh, paint scope on here. Really nice. Of course, it has all of its detail. I believe we received this similar weapon with uh, one of the other figures in the line as well, uh, but probably not with this paint scheme. I don't remember with uh, one with this paint scheme, but I could be wrong. Very nice weapon. You look at the weapon in the figure's hand. Uh, Obi-Wan may believe that blasters are an uncivilized weapon, but he most definitely did use it in this series several times. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna forego the articulation uh, in this review with this figure because it's the same body scope that we received uh, in this line previously, just probably with different dressing. Um, but one thing I do wanna mention uh, for this particular figure, my ankles are really, really loose. Uh, so it's, um, that's probably one little small defect with my particular figure. I don't know if others have had the sem uh, a similar a problem with their figures, but mine uh, is a little bit loose, but there are ways to uh, fix that as well. Then of course, underneath the belt, there is storage for the hilt for your saber. You have a peg at the end of your saber. Once you plug it into the hole and you have storage for your saber. Very, very nice stuff. All right, you guys. So getting you a look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi's in my collection. However, these are not all of the Obi-Wan's in my six inch collection. Uh, I do have the, which I believe is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars or A New Hope. Uh, and this was the one of uh, the six inch figure that they gave us with the velvet cape. Uh, that one is still on its card back. So obviously it is not pictured here. I also have the SH Figure Arts uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and I believe it is Revenge of the Sith. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, uh, again, getting you a look at all of the various Obi-Wan Kenobis that we've received in the six inch line, uh, for the exception of, again, the 40th anniversary Obi-Wan Kenobi with the velvet cape or robe. And uh, again, you have your Force Ghost, a New Hope Obi-Wan, uh, and then you have your three Obi-Wan Kenobis from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, your black line original Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, with the uh, funny looking face scope uh, there. Uh, and then you have your Clone Wars uh, version, uh, both uh, versions. I believe this is the, um, and I don't want to butcher the uh, Russian name there, but Klofsky, uh version uh, of the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. And then of course you have your other uh, Clone Wars uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then of course you have your Padawan. Obi-Wan Kenobi here at the end. So uh, really, really cool that they've given us another Obi-Wan Kenobi. And of course we know there is another one on the horizon, uh, which is legendary Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, which is a really cool figure because I also have the Hot Toys 1-6 scale. Uh, my, clone, my favorite is the Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, uh, more so the uh, full on uh, cape and Clone Wars armor Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, but also the uh, the other one is is just as good, just as nice. I love the ex the uh, Jedi insignia on the uh, shoulder pad there. So really, really cool stuff. Very, very happy to have uh, each and every one of these Obi Wan Kenobi's in my collection, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are in regards to uh, all of the various Obi Wan Kenobi's that they have released in the six inch line. Which one is your favorite? All right, you guys. So getting you a look at the rest of the Inquisitors that we have in the line for the Black Series line of figures. Uh, we have your Grand Inquisitor, your second sister, your fourth sister, Reva as your third sister. And then of course you have the fifth brother right there. So really, really cool. Very nice to have a an additional Inquisitor to add to your Inquisitor squad. So 
Really cool stuff, very, very nice guys. And there is your look at the full line of Inquisitors that we've received thus far. Very, very nice. All right, you guys, so we're gonna get our figures in a very cool diorama, so please do stay tuned. figure your inquisitor fourth sister and then of course you also have Hala as well so very very cool very nice figures i do enjoy all of them of course uh i the obi-wan kenobi series wasn't as great as i would have wanted it to be uh but i think we got some really really cool figures out of that particular series for, so as a collector for that i am very thankful uh, and I do think these are some really, really good figures, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. Have you picked up these figures? And what do you think of these figures, guys? Put those comments down below. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the OB-1 Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.